For American companies, there is no easy way to position in polarized America. The gun uproar is just the latest issue forcing companies to choose sides in a political culture war that historically CEOs have wanted no part of. In recent years, gay marriage, climate change, and now guns have prompted CEOs to speak out under pressure from angry customers and idealistic young employees. And the conscience capitalism is spreading. From car rental agencies to moving companies and airlines, dozens of companies are ending special discounts for members of the NRA. Dick's, Walmart, Kroger, L.L. Bean raised the age limit for buying guns to 21 from 18. Dick's was rewarded. In the two days after Dick's raised its minimum age to buy guns, its stock rose when the overall stock market tanked. But conscience capitalism can have near-term costs. Delta Airlines moved to what it calls a neutral position, ending discounted airfare for NRA members to the NRA annual meeting. That raised the ire of gun rights advocates and will potentially cost Delta a jet fuel tax break in Georgia. Kids and companies are the new leaders. But there's a cynical view on that, that companies are playing the long game. By next year, Pew Research says millennials will outnumber baby boomers. And this huge generation of young people, young consumers, are more likely to spend money with their conscience. By playing progressive on guns, it buys goodwill from young consumers and employees and distracts from what is really the biggest story in business, that new corporate tax cuts will boost earnings and enrich shareholders, not workers, for years.